How's it going guys? So this week on today's episode of the new season, we will be talking about two heroes go head to head in a clash for the ages. Coming in the purple, it is the Phantom. In the crimson red, it is the Man of Senses, Daredevil. Now, we're going to be having three fun aspects to talk about. These two big heroes, one from the MCU and one from his own universe, called the King Fages Syndicate. Now, movie and TV shows. So, the first battle is going to be movie and TV shows. Phantom, as everyone knows on this YouTube channel... As everyone knows on this YouTube channel, The Phantom has had one serial movie, one live action movie, two cartoon TV shows, and a TV show made in 2009. Now, Daredevil. Daredevil has a Marvel TV show that was brought to you by Netflix in 2015. It has a Daredevil reboot movie that was made back in 2003. And I'll be putting all the images to everything that's been made up on the screen right now. We've also got Jay and the Silent Bob Strike Back in 2001. I think he had some sort of cameo with that. Now we've got the Trial of the Incredible Hulk. He had a appearance of some sort in there. And Daredevil and the Black Widow TV show in 1975. Now... With these movie and TV show sort of things, we are going to be saying that both the characters are tied on this. And the reason for that is that basically you've got five, five different movies and five different TV shows that both the characters have. So no one is literally going to get the advantage on any, which no one's going to get the advantage on each other because they've got the same number of TV shows and movies. So back now we're going to be talking about the comic series. Now as you always know the Phantom has had 80 odd years of doing what he does best in the comic world. Now we're going to be saying that the Phantom wins this category only because, only because he, the Phantom, has been around for 80 plus years. He has comic series like a Daily and Sunday newspaper script. He had an Ace Comics series. He had book, big little books, which are very hard to find, by the way. And lots more. Like, I've got five to four boxes worth of Phantom material, but yet... I don't have any Daredevil stuff. So what has Daredevil got? I'm just going to be saying this. Like Daredevil has had 500 plus comics. That is literally limited primary crossovers and cameos. So yeah, the Phantom easily wins that. And now we're going to be moving into the powers. The power game of the century. So... What does the Phantom have compared to Daredevil? Now, Daredevil has superhuman superhuman abilities that allow him to hear, touch, and feel what is happening before it actually happens. The Phantom, on the other end, has... Well, he doesn't actually have any powers, so he's basically having... He's supported by intelligence, hearing, the use of fear. When we compare that to Daredevil, Daredevil doesn't... He doesn't fear... He, he doesn't have any capabilities with fear. Like, Daredevil is one of those people who isn't scared of... 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 Of something like that. And, yeah, it's just cool. I think... The Phantom, he also has his detective work. He has supporting acts like Devil, which is his wolf, the jungle drums and the natives, and so on. Now, who has won that? It is, of course, 
Daredevil wins that only, only because he can basically sense something that is going to happen because he, he has superhuman hearing, touch and feel. So he's able to basically know what's going to happen before it actually happens. Okay, who won that battle? Who basically won that battle? I think the Phantom, yeah, he has some of his advantages. He has some edges over his opponent, Daredevil. But if you're going to be looking at what Daredevil has done on the screen compared to the Phantom, Daredevil has a lot of things going for him that the Phantom basically wouldn't be able to compel with, I uh, compete with. I think you compare both of them, they're sort of the same in some ways, but they're not in other ways. So I think it's sort of a half-half. It would depend on which location it was done in. I think if it was done in the jungle scenes, the Phantom obviously has that edge because he already knows what's happening in the jungle. He has the ability to go to the jungle drums and the natives behind him. But if Daredevil was in, say, I don't know, if the Phantom in him would clash, it would be between both of them trying to solve a case or it would be Daredevil being in New York City or something, wherever he actually resides. Now, why I think the Phantom still has an edge? He, he still has an edge because he's got the smarts, he's got, like, combat skills, and I just think the Phantom may have won that. I, if it wasn't up to screen and media, comics in general, if it was just a lowdown battle of who was going to beat each other, then I do really think, I do think it would have... I do really think that it wouldn't be... No one would win. They would just be helping each other tackle a, a crime or a case, like going and taking down Kingpin for an answer like that. So, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I hope you have been enjoying this week's season. The next season, hopefully, will be, hopefully, I'll be getting things sorted for it, I think, in October. I'm going to be, obviously, finishing this up, I'm going to be editing this and all that sort of stuff. And if you would like to support Phantom Cave Reviews on YouTube, you can be doing that by subscribing comment what would you like to see in these types of video who would you like to see in these types of videos in the future and as always keep phantom caving stay safe and we'll be back with another episode soon